Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a special program of music for bells and organ from the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My special guests are members of the Dallas Handbell Ensemble, comprised of professional musicians, with conductor David Davidson. We open the program with a brilliant toccata by the Russian composer Georgi Mushal. One can easily hear the folk music element in this lively, almost dance-like composition.
hymnals are very much a part of church music today and are becoming entities in themselves with professional handbell ensembles now touring the United States and the world. We are fortunate to have with us today on the program the Dallas Handbell Ensemble. They are now going to join me in playing the music of Mussorgsky in a movement from his descriptive Pictures at an Exhibition. Originally written for orchestra, it has been transcribed for bells and organ. We hear the movement, The Great Gate of Kiev. <laughs>
Many of our most favorite hymns are those taken from larger works of great composers. One of the most famous being the Spacious Firmament from Haydn's Creation. The chorus, known as The Heavens Are Telling, is probably one of the best known works of Haydn and is sung both in concert and in worship. Today we hear an arrangement that I have made on this great hymn as played on the 117 rank organ here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church. It is lighthearted and full of joy.
The appeal, or shall we say the peal of bells, is almost universal and timeless, although most religious groups use bells in worship. Some religious sects believe that the bells bring inharmonious emotions, but others believe they are protection from evil. In terms of first, the Big Ben in London weighs 13 and a half tons. In Russia, they claim to have the largest bell ever rung. In most cases today, however, bells are used in worship, another means of not singing, but ringing the praises of God and Jesus Christ, the Savior. Another famous hymn taken from a larger work is the Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, the theme of the final movement of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. The theme and rhythm itself exudes joy and gladness, and we hear it today on the full resources of the organ, featuring at the end the forceful horizontal trumpets. The text describes the power and love of God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, God of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have featured music for bells and organ with my special guest, the Dallas Handbell Ensemble, David Davidson, director. We pray that the wonderful message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, his joy, love, and peace has found a place in your heart today. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.